Is a bleak sequel a good idea? Well, find out today, and I am joined by... Zuno Z Snake, what's up guys? Not much, and uh, his link to his channel will be in the description box down below. Go definitely go check him out, a ton of great bleak content, but what I, we want to talk about here today is... Would a bleak sequel be a good idea? Like, as they probably know, there's rumors going around about maybe it continuing in Shonen Jump Plus after the series ends and it'll be like Bleach against the new world or something. Well, honestly, for me, it, it depends. If they finish the manga right, no, I don't want the sequel. If they don't finish the manga right, yeah, I want the sequel. And it also depends on what kind of sequel we're talking about. Yeah, that, that's true. Like, like, are we talking like a, about, like, you had to save Ichigo and, like, somebody stays behind? Like, maybe Renji stays behind and buys them, like, two minutes. And him and the other get out of there. They run and they go into hiding. And then the sequel is about them rising up to beat Yuha. That's good sequel. If you're talking yeah. Ichigo to save Yuha, this is a new story of his sister Caddy. And her adventure is a soul reaper after her death in the world of the living. If that's what it's going to be, then no, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't, but now that you mention that, that kind of would be interesting, maybe for like a little OVA or something. Or like an OVA or like a special chapter, yeah, but I do not want the, unless it's going to be like a continuation of what we're getting now. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I mean, I'm also, I don't know what you're concerned about this, but I'm also concerned that then we would just be, I'm concerned that it wouldn't be a continuation, because if, it, if Kubo knows you're going, you're going to be a continuation, why would he be rushing right now? Yeah, that's what, that's one thing. Too. Like, couldn't he just end the chapter on a cliffhanger and be like, to find out the rest of the story, read, bleach, the new world. In that Jordan would kind of... Plot. <laughs> that would kind of make me mad, honestly. It's like, really? Yeah, but it'd, it'd be better than rushing it and giving us, let me on it. Even it though, would. Even though the last chapter was good, like the, the thing with Uriyu and Ryukin, was that really that good? Could it have been a lot better? Yeah, it could have. Yeah, I, I do definitely feel like it was being rushed in that and part. It, so what, he wouldn't be rushing it if, if he knew he was going to be able to continue it. That's what I think, at least. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely, he wouldn't be rushing it like the way he is. And so, let the court, but and let the court jump had epic. Just would need him to have a winner. Yeah, but I mean, did, how do you think the sequel would play out though? I honestly, the idea of like they run off and like someone saves time, I think. That would kind of be the sequel, how it would go, is that Rise Up to defeat Yuha or something like that. Yeah. I definitely don't want something like Ichigo has a son or something like that, and we just get <laughs> his life. I mean, we don't need a Baruto. Like, I saw in a comment, next thing you know, we got a Bochigo out here. I mean, we don't need a Bochigo. <laughs> or, in my opinion, a Kai of course, Aki. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and if anybody, somebody probably got what I've been referring to there. Probably I didn't though. <laughs> Look at that. Who, who else would name their kid Kaya? It's not group yet. Yeah. No, but I mean, I'm I'm kind of concerned just because I'm looking at it and I'm like, please need a, it needs a sequel if it wants to have a good ending. Let's be honest. Mm, I don't know. This is recent chapter. This recent chapter kind of opened a gateway. I don't know. Eisen Sama. I don't know. Eisen Sama out of that chair. I don't, I don't know. True, but do you really think... At this point, do you really think Jump will let Kubo pull something like Eisen beating Yuha? Uh, no, but I definitely think that they would let him help. I mean, like, he's about to kill... Yuha, and all of a sudden, Ichijo just, like, slashes through Yuha and kills Aizen. <laughs> um, Why would he uh, kill Aizen, though? That's one thing that I just realized. Because he's Aizen, and he's incredibly dangerous, and he should have been killed a long time ago? 
Uh, yeah, but... I'm on the Gary to why he's still alive. <laughs> maybe the next, like, maybe this new manga is, like, Aizen becoming the Soul King. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> like and his true attentions the whole time were, like, he was actually a good guy, and he's just... Because if you think about it, Aizen never really did kill too many important characters, if you think about it. Did he I mean, really no, kill Tokura? I mean, if you think about it, Aizen, he, compared to you watch, you watch honestly killed way more than freaking yeah, Aizen. Yeah, you, you watch committed mass genocide. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, literally, he literally committed mass genocide. Yeah, he's like, with genocide. With his whole collection. I mean, that is mass genocide. But I mean,. I feel like the only problem with them losing is if they lose, wouldn't that just be putting off the ending? Kind of. And it's getting to the point where it kind of, it's like there are certain plot points that I'm kind of getting sick of waiting for. Yep. Because there's an opportunity to address them, like you have, like the, but like the Quincy War between the Soul Reapers and the Quincy. How are we even going to address that now? Like, I mean, I mean, are there any characters that could really open open up that flashback? Mm. Restate that one more time. Like, yeah, okay. you have flashback in your only work. It's like somebody asked a question, and he's like, well, you think this is the story. Like, the best example would probably be in Naruto, where Naruto's like, how did you and dad fall in love? And we got an entire flashback, right? Yeah. You know, that's kind of the way you segue into a flashback. How can yeah, we I segue? We've, we've got the reason why. No, but how can well, we segue into it? Who is a rap? Besides Yuha, do we have any characters that are still alive that were even there a thousand years ago? Uh, well, they're even alive, no. We did have old Captain Yamamoto, but he's dead now. Yeah, so it's like, and without Unahara, he's dead too, right? Uahara? Uahara? Unahana. Yeah, Unahana, you mean Unahana. Yeah. You mean Squad Force Captain. Yeah. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, I mean, and I, 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 have to, I don't, and you had pretty much killed everybody, so it's not like he, we could have a conversation between him and Hackwalt. Where Hackwell's like, do you remember that war a thousand years ago? Well, Hackwell's dead now. Yeah, so. the point is there's no way to segue into it. Are we just going to, we're either going to get the flashback or are going to be some bullshit where we're just going to go straight into it? Like, for no apparent reason. Well, I mean, we did sort of get, like, why it happened or, like, how it happens. Because Yamamoto was, if I'm correct, Yamamoto was once friends with Juha Bak. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to go back and look into the manga volume. I actually have the volume. I'd have to go back and look. But they do know each other. They are familiar with each other. Yeah, like I'm bored of this old enemy. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But I mean, it just, I'm worried. But I feel like there are so many plot points that aren't going to be addressed. And I feel like if you started a sequel series, Kubo would push those plot points off even more. Because let's be honest, Bleach is failing right now. Mm. I don't know. I'm I mean, still, it probably that... won't be easy for him to get another theory going. I, I won't say that yet. We'll have to see the manga sales for this year. Because honestly, I think they'll be back up just because the series is ending. Yeah, I know. I agree with that. But career-wise, he's not doing very well. Health-wise, Kubo's not doing that well. Yeah, that's, so that's the reason I can third if he made a sequel theory, he would drag things out even more. Yeah, maybe. I honestly now that I just remembered that, I don't know if Kubo would do that because I don't know if you have have remembered, but recently Kubo has been in the hospital. I believe in the last year he's been in the hospital twice. I believe. But that's not uncommon. Like things happen. I know, but it's from stress, from writing the chapters if i'm correct well that's also because jump they won't give him breaks anymore yeah probably i mean which i mean like people like oda like oda gets breaks because he's oda 
Kubo, they're like, hey, look, you, where are you, the, 20, the, the 21st best selling manga? And yeah, and you don't get a break. <laughs> and you don't make a, and you barely make a, like, he's not a death for Mr. Dan, but he almost is. Which I'm also trying to think, why would they give Bleach a sequel? That's Honestly, the main question here. Why would Jump do that? Why would Kubo accept it? I, th- I think Kubo is fed up with Jump. I think he's going to be like, after Bleach, he's going to be like, yep, I'm, I'm done. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, well, probably because I think he, I think he, I don't think, he, I don't think, he, I don't think he's on like that Kichi, Moto, Oda, Toriyama level where he had where he had constant money coming in. I think he does have constant money coming in. We're not constant, but he, he does. also doesn't have an anime. Remember that. Kishimoto and Toriyama and Oda are all making money from the Super anime, the One Piece anime, and the Naruto anime. That is also bringing him in money. Once this stops, he'll have he'll lose his main source of income. Well, if you think about it, I mean, he'll lose a lot. He probably will lose a lot of income. But if you think about it, the mar- like. Every time you buy a manga volume of Bleach, some of that money is going to go to him in some way. True. And people are going to buy manga volumes of Bleach for a long time now. Maybe not like they're selling now, but he's definitely going to get some money, and I'm sure he has some, like, retirement plan or something. I don't know how that stuff works in Japan. Sure, but but I'm, I'm just yes. looking at it, and I'm just also like, but why, why would Jump give him a sequel? I would... Blink did not... I'm going to be blunt. I like Bleach, but if I was at the head of Jump, I would say, fuck this theory. Well, I would think that Kubo wouldn't want to do another sequel. Yeah. I'd say, I think they're both fed up with each other. Yeah, I mean, I think they would Jay and Hanson, who said he makes back like maybe Kubo would move to a different magazine. Maybe. But then, is that even... I, I'm not sure about how, like, what, all the legal, how the legality work with that. I'm not sure... I think Fairy Tale did that, didn't they? Uh, yeah, they were. I believe they're still now Shonen, but they were once in Weekly Shonen, and then they uh, Kodanshin Comics took them. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know they're not. I know they're not. They're never. They're not in Shonen Jump, but they're a Shonen theory. Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of weird, but I mean, I think if a sequel did have, there would have to be in another magazine. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Because I, I'm trying to look at it from a business standpoint, and I'm looking at the sales of Bleach in the past couple of years, and I'm like, why would you want to make more of this? How is this benefiting you? Well, I mean, the sales of Bleach aren't necessarily that bad. No, but how would a, why would they pick Bleach to make a sequel theory? Why not go to, like, Toriko? Because Bleach sells better than Toriko. It does, really. <laughs> Yes. Where do you see Toriko on the manga sales this year or last year? Yeah, that's a good point. I, I, if you think about it, Bleach has done really well without an anime. They've remained in the 20, like, between, like, if I'm correct, Bleach has been, like, 21 and 22 for four years without an anime. It's, yeah. a, it's been in the top 30 without an anime. That is true. That's pretty good. Not true. But then again, my hero is number two, and it didn't always have an anime. <laughs> yeah, but it just got anime, and now everybody's hype, and it's already getting a season two. Good point, but was, I was never getting hype before that, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is that I myself and just I just I don't, and by the way, everything we're saying is us discussing a rumor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, nothing <laughs> is confirmed, but it's like. I personally, to end up a video, let's just quickly talk about whether or not we want it. I want the sequel, just to be serious, that uh, I personally think without it, the ending is going to stop. Mm. I'm depends. sorry, because... I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. I, I just, I'm looking, I'll be honest, there were a lot of parts in this last chapter that I was like, what? Ichi, I was like, Ichi, Ryukin, finally, are they going to do something? Here's an arrow. Bye, bye, are you? I was like, no, that's, that's a joke, right? <laughs> I was like, it is, it is kind of rushed. Two but... pages, that's it, and that may be your last role in the theory. I'm like, no, I fooled you. We both know Kubo could have done better than that. 
If he wasn't being rushed, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I want to think one of the things I feel like that would make Mysterio better. I feel like then the rust part wouldn't bother me as much. I'm worried the final battle is going to be rust. I'm like, let's say we have, like, how many more chapters would you think we have? Maybe, like, seven, eight or seven. Okay, so let's say seven. Seven more chapters? The final battle needs to start, like, next chapter. I mean, the final battle was really kind of already started. I don't, I get there the final battle, I think the final battle is still going to be U, uh, Ichigo versus Yuha. Well, that's basically what it is, he's just having help from Renji and Aizen. <laughs> wait, 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 you seem to be implying Renji and Youthful in this fight. No, but I'm just saying he's in the fight. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he, he just, he, he's in the air and not the fight. <laughs> anyway, dude, is he going, right? The only relevant person to get fight is fucking Ivan. Let's be honest here. Well, I mean, Ichigo's the main character, so we know he's going to have some relevance in it. But Who for me, Rinji, Rinji's basically like that guy on, like, the basketball team that's on the bench always, and then when someone gets hurt, they pull him up. They pull him out and say, here, get on court. Start shooting the ball. I mean, I'm a little concerned because of the fact that it's, well, mainly the way they're playing it out. Because I'm like, is, is it actually going to be Aizen versus Yuha for final battle? Did you think that? No, I think Aizen's going to have something to do with it. I'm starting to think Aizen may be the final person to fight Yuha. I think Aizen may, may, I think they may say fuck Ichigo. I honestly don't think Ichigo can win. I honestly don't think people would care if Aizen won. <laughs> That's the reason I think it may happen. I think Kubo knows, but then, like he knows, if either were to win, nobody would really care. No, I mean Jump might though, because that's kind of breaking formula. Because normally, the main character always wins in the Shonen. True, but yeah, that's bro. I mean, that's it, not true. It, I mean, has, like you always say, Kubo does have balls out of. Uh, out of most authors, like, showing all the stuff that he's done in this arc, like, um, I'm trying to, th help me out here. Uh, breaking is he going to bond guy right after him, achieve that. Yeah, he's brave enough to do that. He's brave enough the to, only thing, uh, The only thing I ever seen Kubo back out of was killing the Akuda. Yeah, because he was getting death threats. Yeah, so he was just like, well, fuck that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, this isn't fucking worth it. But I mean, what I'm, I mean, I know other mangakas have done it, like, but it's always ended like that. You know what I mean? Well, and you could argue that, uh, uh, but actually, no, it hasn't. You could, you, I think they may be able to, he may be able to give the win to somebody else, but I know in Dragon Ball, Goku didn't, Goku didn't get the final kill. Hmm. If you really think about it, you know what I mean? Against Cell, he didn't. No, against Boo. And you really think yeah, that wasn't his own power. Like, you could easily make it. If you really want to, you could make it though. Ichigo just delivered the blow, but somebody else did all the work. Yeah, like Aizen gives him all his race or something like no, that. No, it didn't matter. Aizen beat you off half to death, and Ichigo, and Ichigo just stabs him through the chest. Ichigo just stands in the background, runs up, and stabs him in the chest. Yeah. Like, when, like in Dragon Ball, when Goku was fighting Kid Boo, that's pretty much what happened. Like, Goku just stood there and gathered energy from the Genki Dama, and then threw it. Yep. Like, all Goku did was throw, was throw a giant ball of energy. So you could easily argue that maybe all Ichigo needs to do in Jump Side is throw a Getsu Gotencho. I guess, I mean... And, but... Okay, I'm not gonna get into that argument. Yeah. Or debate. Yeah, I, I don't wanna get into that either. But, yeah, I would probably end it here with just our thoughts, so... If you had, if you Kubo were to call you up right now and ask you, should Blake have a sequel? What would you say? I'm gonna wait it out and see what you. Actually, I would ask him, what are you gonna do, Kubo? And <laughs> if you do it right, or if he like said something that I liked, I'd say no. If he didn't, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, do a sequel. 
Yeah, okay, so I would probably just say yes. I would say yes and just and just write the series normally and just end it, end the chapter like it was any other chapter, and then put a note that says, Check out my new manga. Like, don't rush it, don't rush, just get handle it normally, but yeah. I personally think it should get a uh, sequel. But I ho we hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And uh, check out Dino the Snake in the description box down below.